I woke up to the most unexpected Lego news in my life. The next Lego movie is coming out October 11th, 2024, and it's called Piece by Piece from Lego and Focus Features, and it's about Pharrell Williams' life? What the f What is Lego thinking? This is gonna be a failure, a box office bomb. Nobody wants to see a Lego movie on Pharrell Williams. The guy who's saying happy, like sure, he has some interesting musical credits, but what? Anyway, subscribe, bye, give me money. No, I, I'm, I'm not dismissing this movie right away because I see something that I really like in the title here. It's directed by Morgan Neville. Morgan Neville did a pretty dang good film. It was called The Best of Enemies, and Morgan Neville was a co-director here. And this was about Gore Vidal and William F. Buckley Jr., a liberal and a conservative, and they went head-to-head -head through these televised debates. It sounds boring. I'm not a political person or anything like that, but it was pretty dang interesting. And if he can make that topic that I don't care about interesting, I'm sure he can make Pharrell Williams interesting on top of it being all told through Lego. Another thing, if we're learning about Pharrell Williams' life, I honestly don't know about his life. That's something to a benefit of an interesting story to me where I don't know what's gonna happen in this movie. Yeah, obviously he's not gonna die, but you get what I mean. Anyways, beyond Best of Enemies, the director also put out that Anthony Bourdain documentary that I heard was amazing and I can't wait to check out. As well as that Mr. Rogers documentary that I heard was amazing that I can't wait to check out. Like this is a great creative mind behind this movie. I have faith. What's not promising is Will I Am Studios producing it. Will I Am is kind of known for these really ridiculous, stupid ideas. But a producer credit is a lot less important to the final product of a film than a director credit. And the director of this movie, again, is somebody who has made some other great movies. Then again, I'm noticing that the press release does not mention if this is specifically going to be a documentary. And Morgan is a documentary director. So will this be like Morgan's first narrative feature? I don't know, is it going to be like a biopic in Lego? Also, is this going to be stop motion or like CGI animated? The poster just looks CGI animated. The press release just says Lego animation, so we'll have to wait and see. And there's not much other interesting info from the press release unless you're interested in producer credits, which again, don't really matter to me. A director credit is so much more important to me if a movie's going to be good. Honestly, when I watch a movie, the first thing I look at is a director's credit. Now, a writer's credit is also very important and there's none mentioned in this article. And again, I'm not sure, is this movie going to be a documentary or like a biopic in Lego? So if it's a documentary, writing credit is a little bit less important. And if you look at what's going on here, this is an interesting poster, I'm sorry. The golden brick starting out of play and then becoming a minifigure and then becoming Pharrell Williams and what looks like maybe a military outfit, which you know Lego doesn't know military, so what's going on here? And the final question is, will this be getting Lego sets? Like are we going to get a little Lego Pharrell Williams in stores? Because part of me feels like they'll not put any physical media out of this specific product aside from say a Blu-ray, and this will hit theaters and everything because they're doing that more and more, where we get stuff like LEGO Fortnite, which is just a collaboration as a video game. There's no actual LEGO Fortnite sets. Maybe I'm getting too excited for what might be a piece of crap, but again, I'm really excited that Morgan Neville's behind it. This is releasing under Focus Features, which makes this the first Universal LEGO movie. If you remember, Universal got the rights to make LEGO movies from Warner Bros. I just hope Lego doesn't step in and censors any part of Pharrell Williams' life. Like, like, we assume that, right? That Lego isn't going to make the movie sanitized for children. Or am I setting myself up for disappointment? <laughs> so all in all, yeah, I'm excited for this movie. It's a creative swing and we'll see if it's a hit. I like when LEGO takes risks like this. Dang, this collaboration with Universal in a way is already more interesting than video. Anyways, do you guys think I'm crazy in being excited for this? Or do you think I'm on to something? Are you excited for this? 
Leave all those thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe here for more LEGO movie news. And if you want to see me talk more about movies in general, I just put a really long Oscar video out. That was a lot of fun to do, where I put my thoughts out on the recently announced 2024 Oscar nominations. That's on my film channel. Peace out. Bye.